Oh, man, I'm so sick. Is there anything I can get you, Marvin? Uh, I think I'm gonna need more tissues. Okay. Hey, Nanny, can I show you my SpongeBob Giggle Blaster? That's really cool, Jeffy. Can't play with it. Um, I'm really sick. Can you play with it tomorrow? No, no, I cannot. It has to be today. Jeffy, Marvin doesn't feel well. Too bad. I have an appointment to play with my SpongeBob Giggle Blaster, and I want to show Daddy what it does. What does it do, Jeffy? SpongeBob Creams. <laughs> Yeah, Spongebob just creamed. He's Spongebob cream pants, and I just pooped, so I'm Spongebob poop pant. Jeffy, you made a huge mess. You better go get some napkins and clean all this up. Uh. Here you go, Nanny. Here's your paper towel. All right, Jeffy, start cleaning up the mess. Too hard. No, it's not too hard, Jeffy. Grab a paper towel and wipe it up. My hands don't work. They work when you're playing with the Spongebob Giggle Blaster. Well, that was fun. This isn't. Jeffy, I'll clean it up, but go get Marvin a thermometer. He might have a fever. Okay. Baby, you don't have to clean this up. Jeffy did it. It's okay, Marvin. Here, Daddy. Here's your thermometer. But I'm feeling kind of sick, so can I take my temperature first? Hurry up. <sighs> Jeffy, you just took that up your butt. Uh -huh. what? Jeffy. Oh, I think it's ready. <sighs> yep, smells like I have a fever. All right, Daddy, your turn. Hey, oh, get that away from me. Marvin, I think you should go see a doctor. I really think... <laughs> 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 you put that in my mouth, Jimmy! Uh -huh. Look up your ass! Uh -huh. Okay, that's it! We're going to a hospital. I didn't get tested for literally everything. Get the cat carrier. Okay! Well, hold on, let me taste. Jeffy, get, uh. ins get inside your cat carrier. But I don't want my cat carrier, Daddy! No hissing. Ow. Jeffy, listen. Ow. You have to get in your cat carrier because we can't trust you inside the house when we're gone because you might break everything. But Daddy, it's not my fault my hands break things. Yes, it is, Jeffy. So look, get in the cat cage and we'll let you out when we get back. <sighs> Fine, Daddy. Peggy. Get in there. Go. All right, Jeffy, you stay in your cage. We'll be gone for like an hour. Okay, but what if I have to poop? Just do it in the corner of the cage. Okay. All right, baby, let's go. Okay. All right, guys, are you ready to play dodgeball? Heck yeah, dude. We haven't started yet. Yeah, Joseph, we didn't start yet. Oh, my bad, I'm just ready. You guys ready to play dodgeball? Heck yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. All right, Cody, who's gonna be on your team? Because me and Joseph are gonna be on our team. Well, that's not fair, that's two against one. Well, you gotta find a teammate. Well, do you think Chef pee would wanna be on my team? Is he even good at dodgeball? I don't know. All right, how about we throw a dodgeball at him and see if he's good at dodging it. Okay. Mm-mm-mm, my hibachi stir fry looks almost done. Man, it looks so delicious. I just love watching it cook. Chef Pee-Pee just got wrecked, Cody. He just got pwned. Is that really who you want to be your teammate? No, I guess not. But to be fair, he didn't even know we were playing. No, he sucks at dodgeball. Good dodgeball players are always looking out for balls. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's why you're a good dodgeball player. You're always looking for balls. <laughs> yeah, I sure do. You, you want to go see if Jeffy will be your teammate? Okay. Hey, Jeffy, you want to play dodgeball? Have you seen Jeffy? Ooh, look, a thermometer. I'm going to take my temperature. I think I'm getting sick. This has been in someone's ass. Are you sick, Cody? Well, now I am. Where's Jeffy? <coughs> do you hear a cat, Cody? Yeah. Come on! Jeffy, what are you doing inside a cage? My mommy and daddy don't trust me, so they put me in the cat cage. Why don't they trust you? Because they say I break things. Well, Cody needs a partner in dodgeball. You want to play? Sure! You just gotta let me out of the cage. All right, Cody, let him out of the cage. Okay. <sighs> Okay, we got our teams for dodgeball. So the rules are, if you get hit with the ball, you're out, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> throw it, Joseph, throw it! <laughs> throw it, Cody! <laughs> oh no, I broke a vase! Come on, we gotta grab a ball! <laughs> Alright, Cody, I got your ball. Hold on, let me see where they're at. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, Jeffy, they're defenseless, hit him! Alright. Avenge me, Joseph. Oh, I'll avenge you, bro. Uh, ah, this is for doing it. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. For hanging Tony, you're gonna die now. Yeah. Uh, you suck, dude. Uh. Woo! I won, I won. You guys suck at dodgeball. Well, well, kind of.
technically me and Joseph are on team, so we won at dodgeball. Yay! Dude, you didn't do anything. But but we were on team, so yay! No, not I'm, yay. I'm gonna go check on Cody and Jeffy. Uh, you guys okay? No, I think he broke my nose. It doesn't look too bad, Cody. Really? You okay, Jeffy? Jeffy? Oh no, I think he got knocked out. Oh no, what if he's dead? Let me see. No, he has a pulse. Oh no, but if his parents find out that we knocked him out, they're gonna tell our parents and we're gonna get grounded. Oh no. Okay, so let's go put him back in the cat carrier. They'll never know. Okay. All right, Cody, get his legs. Okay, I got his legs. Go, uh, no, push, push more. Uh, okay, um, oh man, he's heavy. Uh, Close it. Shoe in there. Close it. Okay, um. All right, let's get uh, out of here. Uh, Hey there, you came to see a doctor? Yeah. Marvin, is that you? You are getting so big. How old are you now? Forty. Oh, they grow up so fast. Last time I saw you, you were knee-high to a grasshopper. How's it going, Mom? Um, I'm his wife. That's great. That is just great. I'm gonna listen to your lungs now. Okay, so what grade are you in, Marvin? I'm not in school. Uh, Mom, why is he not in school? What, what are you doing right now? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm still in pediatrician mode. This is how I talk to kids to make them feel good about doctors. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm me now. I, I gotta listen to your lungs. Hold on. Just, just breathe for me. <coughs> okay, I said breathe, not cough. Ew. But I can tell you're sick. Is he gonna make it, doctor? Uh, I don't know. Open your mouth and say ah. Uh. Not you, dummy. Him. Uh. Oh, what was that for? I don't know. Turn around and bend over and spread those cheeks. Okay. Uh. Oh, man. That prostate is the size of a golf ball. Oh. <laughs> Well, I can tell you're sick. Well, do you have anything to help me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got this medicine right here that should clear it right up. Oh, thank you. But I just want to let you know that there is a global shortage of this medicine, and a lot of old people are dying from what you have, and they need this medicine. And if they don't get it, they're probably going to die. So you're saying I can't get the medicine? No, I'm saying you can get the medicine. It's just you're perfectly healthy. Your immune system's fine. You'll get over this in a few days, but they're going to die. So if you take this medicine, that means you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. So I can't have the medicine? Oh, you can have the medicine. It's just by taking the medicine, you're admitting you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't like the elderly. But, I mean, personally, I wouldn't take it because I'm not a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. But you, I don't know. We'll see. Wow. Okay, so you're admitting you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. Uh, I just, I'm just tired of the no, cough. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's just if you're going to take that medicine, I need to record a video of you saying you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. Marvin, let's just go. But <coughs> I'm tired of the coughing. You don't need the medicine. Go ahead. Continue. I'm a weak pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. Okay, got it. Thank you. Marvin. Marvin, I can't believe you took that medicine. Baby, I'm tired of <coughs> coughing. I'm sick. I need to get better. But there's a global shortage. There's no shortage. It's just something they say to save money. I don't know, Marvin. All right, Jeffy, it's time to get out of the cage. Jeffy! Marvin, maybe he's sleeping. Jeffy, wake up! Get out of your cage! Baby, open the cage. Okay. Drag him out. Come on, Jeffy. Jeffy, wake up! Jeffy? Jeffy, wake up! Marvin, he's not waking up! Wake up, Jeffy! Marvin, we should call a doctor! No, he's just faking it. Oh, no! Uh, call a doctor! Okay! Call a doctor, Jimmy! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my son's not- Oh, look who it is! The weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. You know, I put that video online, it already has 10 million hits. People hate you. Listen, my son's knocked out, he's not moving! Well, let me see if he has a pulse. Well, he's got a pulse, he's still alive. Okay, so what, what do we do? Well, tell me what happened. Alright, so we went to the hospital to see you because of my cough, you know, we put him in his cage and then we got back- Hold up, I'm sorry, you, you put your son in a cage? Yeah, yeah, so we put him in a cage when we leave because we don't want him to break stuff. You, you're telling me you put your son in a cage? Well, yeah, because like he likes to break stuff, we don't want him roaming around- So, so, so how, how old is he again? He's 18 years old. So you put a grown man in a pet taxi? Well, listen, we put him in the cage to protect him, because, you know, he likes to break stuff and make messes, so we just put him in a cage for, like, a few hours. Well, that, maybe that's why he passed out, is because he didn't have a lot of circulation in the pet taxi, and, and you didn't leave him any food and water. Did you at least let him use the litter box before you put him in there? Well, listen, no, he usually can hold it for a long time. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should be putting on my cop outfit. What? No, no, you don't need your cop outfit. He likes the, 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 the cat cage. Marvin, maybe Jeffy needs some water. I'm going to go get him some. Yeah, get some water. Yeah, and while she does that, I'm going to put my cop uniform on. No, Jeffy, tell, tell him you like the cage. Wake up. All right, I am dressed to arrest. Now, you better tell me that cage thing was some kind of joke, but I can see the cage, so, I mean, you're pretty guilty. Marvin, 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 I found a bunch.
bunch of broken glass downstairs and this dodgeball. What? A dodgeball, you say? You know, in high school, I was a dodgeball champion. I knocked out all the other kids. You know what? I'll tell you what. I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one dodgeball game. If you beat me, I won't arrest you. But if I beat you, not only will I arrest you, I'm taking your medicine too. Come on, Marvin. You don't want to be arrested, do you? But I'm not good at dodgeball. But what do you have to lose? Huh, Marvin? Come on, you want to get arrested or play me? I guess I'll play you in dodgeball. Yes! Oh, you're gonna get creamed! <sighs> Alright, Marvin, I blindfolded myself. Because my old coach Patches O'Houlihan taught me, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Okay? One, two, three, go! Uh. <laughs> Got you, slut! Now, ow! <sighs> well, Marvin, you won fair and square. I guess I probably shouldn't have worn that blindfold. That's what I get for being cocky. Unless I actually did hit you and you were lying. No, you didn't even come close to hitting me. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I won't arrest you then. Uh. But Jeffy, are you okay? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. You locked him in that cage. That's what happened. Yeah, no more cage. Yeah, you better get rid of that cage unless you want to get arrested. All right, fine. I won't put Jeffy in a cage anymore. Good. And we all learned a lesson because I will never wear a blindfold while playing dodgeball again. So, you gonna take that medicine? Yeah, I really want to Weak take... little pussy bitch. All right, Jeffy, it's time to eat your green beans. Green beans, dude? Not green beans! I know, Jeffy, but you have to eat them. No! Wait, baby, can you help me feed them? Okay, Marvin. Jeffy, just open your mouth. Mm -mm. Open your mouth for the green beans. Mm -mm. I don't know how to open my mouth. Jeffy, you're opening your mouth right now. Mm -mm. <sighs> but baby, say something to him. Jeffy, please eat your green beans. Oh, okay, Mommy. Uh... Wait, really? Wait, Jeffy, you have to eat your green beans! Hold on, Daddy, one second. Where, where are you going? I don't know. What's he doing? Read it, Daddy. Where'd you get that out, Jeffy? Oh, I don't know. Jeffy, you have to eat your green beans! Oh, no, Marvin, look! Breaking news, okay? World-renowned painter Jacques-Pierre Francois has died. He reportedly fell off a bridge and landed on a canvas. And with his last dying breath, he named the painting the Ugh as his body hit the canvas. The painting sold for $200 million and is currently hanging up in my living room. He leaves behind his million dollar fortune to his only son, who is unknown at this time. Oh, Marvin, that's so sad. Well, I don't know who he is. What'd he do? He was a famous painter. He got famous for putting paint in his nose and sneezing it on the canvas. Well, he got famous for sneezing on a canvas? Yeah, it's genius. Um, dang, I finished all my green beans. Well, you finished all your green beans? Yep. What? Are you sure you didn't dump them behind the couch? Nope. I'm gonna go check. All right, go check. <sighs> Mommy, I lied. Daddy's gonna be mad. Oh, Jeffy. Jeffy, you lied. They're all behind the couch. Those aren't my green beans. What, Jeffy, then whose are they? I don't even know. Tell the truth, Jeffy. Oh, okay, Mommy. Um, oh, uh, I rubbed my pee pee all over that remote control. Ew! Well, that's it, Jeffy. You are grounded. You're gonna stand in the corner. What? My phone's ringing. All right, I'm gonna enter the phone, and then you're gonna stand in the corner. What's your corner? Uh, hello? Hey, is this Marvin? Uh, yeah, who's this? This is the police. Uh, I mean, uh, no, no. This isn't Marvin. Oh, this is the maid. I cleaned his house. Okay, first of all, that was racist. And second, uh, what, what accent was that supposed to be? Was it like Chinese or something? I was going for like Hispanic. Oh no, no, you gotta work on that. Oh, okay, look, you know it's me, what do you want? Oh yeah, we got a woman here who filed a missing persons report. She says she's looking for her son. She like dropped him off at some random place a long time ago, but she says he wears like a blue helmet and a yellow shirt. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, that, that's, that's Jeffy, that, that's Jeffy. Uh, yeah, as you can sit her here. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, did you say Jeffy? Well, yes, Jeffy. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, I must've called the wrong person. I, I'm looking for Jerry. Jerry? Yeah, I have Jerry written down. I think it's Jerry. But no, it's Jeffy. You described Jeffy perfectly. Th 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 I have her son. Tell her to come pick him up. Like, uh, pick him up. He is right at my house. Like, come to my house right now. Okay, I'll send her over. But if she's disappointed, because Jerry's not there. It's Jeffy. Send her to my house. I have him. I have him. I have Jeffy. Okay, I'll send her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The happiest day of my life. All right, Jeffy. When Marvin gets back, you're going to apologize for dumping green beans behind the couch. Okay, Mommy. Baby, baby, baby. It's the greatest news I've ever heard. Marvin, wait. Before you say anything else, there's something Jeffy needs to tell you. What? Um, Daddy, you're bald. What? That's what he had to tell me? No, Jeffy. Say the other thing. Okay. Daddy, do you know how to spell hippo? What? H-I-P-P. -P. Oh! Yeah, harder, Daddy. Oh, you know what? I don't really even care. Look, the cops just called. What? The cops? 
Pops. Yeah, and they said that Jeffy's real mom is looking for him, and she's coming to get him right now. So, no more Jeffy? No, no, no more Jeffy. No more mommy and daddy? No, no, no more mommy and daddy. You get to be free. I get to be free. Oh, not again. Marvin, when is she going to get here? Uh, I don't know. The sooner the better, right? So, so I think we should get Jeffy ready, and we should go wait by the front door, so when she gets here, we can just drop him off and just say bye forever. Now, come on, let's go. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, any minute now, your real mom's coming to get you, and I never have to see you ever again. Mommy, I don't want to go. I don't want you to go either, Jeffy. Well, Jeffy, don't call her mom anymore. She's not your mom anymore. Your real mommy's coming to get you. We never have to see him ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that must be her. All right, Jeffy, look, st stand up straight. Wait, st stand up straight. Stand up, stand up straight, Jeffy. Look, look good. Look, come on, come on. All right, guys, the moment we've... Jeffy, stop crying. <laughs> all right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for... Hello? J Jeffy, is that you? Come to mommy, sweetie. What, what, you're Jeffy's mom? Yes, I am. Thank you so much for taking care of him. I've been so worried. I'm Nancy, by the way. <coughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm a little sick, and I think I'm also a little bit pregnant. Oh, can I come in? I have to meet the people who've been taking care of my baby. No, Daddy, no. Oh, thank God my Jeffy is safe, my poor baby. Yeah, Jeffy's 100% safe. Hey, do you have coffee or maybe something with alcohol in it? Alcohol? Aren't you pregnant? I don't even know. Hey, I'll spit on you for a dollar. Let's spit on me for a dollar? No, I, I, I didn't say yes. I, 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 oh my God, take me to a hospital. Pay take up. me to a hospital. Pay up. Look, look, look. You can take Jeffy. I just, I have one question before you go. Okay. Why did you drop him off a year ago? Oh, I needed somebody to babysit him while I was at the grocery store. It took you a year to go to the grocery store? It was very hard to find. Well, that, that sounds like a good story to me. All right, Jeffy, go with her. No, Daddy, that's not what happened. Jeffy, stop talking crazy. Close your mouth before I smack it. Wait, wait, Jeffy, what really happened? All right, Mommy, this is what happened. All right, we're here. Where are we out, Mommy? See, I don't want to be your Mommy no more, so you're going to find a new Mommy and Daddy. A new mommy and daddy? Yeah, you're gonna go over to those apartments and you're gonna knock on every door until somebody answers. And then whoever answers is gonna be a new mommy and daddy. No, but I don't want a new mommy and daddy. I wanna live with you. I love you, mommy. I don't love you. You're ugly and you're stupid and you waste my time. So go, get out of here. Uh, can I show them my brain joke? Yeah, sure, whatever you want. Just go. But mommy, what if I forget my name? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, all right. Ugh, let me write it. And there you go, your name's on your shirt. It says Jeffy. Jeffy? Yeah, so if you forget your name, just look at your shirt, okay? Now get out of here. Well, what if they don't want to be my new mommy and dad? Uh, um, uh, uh, alright, alright. Putting this note on your shirt, there you go. Why does the note say, mommy? Uh, it, it says you're a good boy, now get out of here. It says I'm a good boy? Yeah, now go, go. Alright, mommy. Just leave. God. Glad to be rid of him. Bye, Mommy. How was your day at work, Boyle? Oh, it sucked. It was such a long day. Who is that? You expecting someone? No. I'm not gonna answer it. It's probably like a candy salesman. We don't want any candy! No one answered. Huh? Who's at the door? Oh, they probably woke me up from my dream. Hello? Hey. You want to see my pencil? Wait, your pencil? Wait, who are you? What are you, what are you doing here? Oh, my name is Jeffy. She is changing on my shirt. Jeffy! And that's what really happened. Jeffy! Ah! Ah! Don't you ah! ah! Mommy sure does love her smokes. Uh, uh, Jeffy, you have to go with your mom now. <laughs> Daddy, please don't make me go with old mommy. She hits me and she calls me bad names. But, but she's your real mom, Jeffy. Ruben, I don't think she takes care of him. But, but, but that's his real mom. Oh, yeah, that's the spot right there. Oh, I wonder what that smells like. 
Oh, oh yeah, that is that is two months of no shower right there. Oh, you want a whiff? What the no, I don't want a whiff. All right, come on, Jeffy, we gotta go get some money. I I, I mean, go home. No, I don't want to go with you, old uh, mommy. Jeffy, you gotta go I with her. No, come on, Jeffy, please, please, go. please, Daddy. Come on, Jeffy, you're being a bad boy. Mommy needs to get paid. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry about the green beans. I won't move my pants anymore. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy. Well, he's gone now. Marvin, I can't believe you let that terrible woman. Look, he's not a responsibility anymore. That's his real mom, and I don't care about it. Marvin, she beats him! Good! Well, I'm leaving! All right, fine, leave. I don't care about you. Leave! Fine! Fine, leave! Bye! Bye! Come here, Jeffrey. You're coming home with mommy now. I don't want to go with you, old mommy. I don't like you. Oh, Jeffrey, oh. how dare you say that to your own mother? I gave birth to you in a porta potty. Now listen here, you little shit. Your mommy's lottery ticket now, okay? See, your daddy was a famous painter, and he died, and he left you millions of dollars. So now, whenever you're 18, that money's gonna be mine, and you can live with whoever the hell you want. I don't wanna live with you, mommy. I don't like you. Oh, you're gonna live with mommy, and you're gonna like it, okay? All right, now, now shut up. This is a stolen car, and I don't want to attract any more attention. Okay, Jeffy's gone forever, and that's all that matters. It's just me, myself, and I. I finally get some peace and quiet, and I, I finally get to relax. I, that's all I care about. I just, I just want to relax. Jeffy! Oh, hey, what, yeah. God, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, yeah, I saw you were having a moment. I, I thought I'd cheer you up with this piano. I, I saw everything that happened. Oh. Am I a bad person? Yeah, yeah, you suck. Well, listen, I just want some peace and quiet, so can you leave? Okay. <sighs> Stupid cat piano. Jeffy would always annoy me with this thing. I just, I just want some peace and quiet. Lola, 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 Lola. I'm hungry. What did you just say? I'm hungry. What did I tell you about being hungry? You wait till next week when the check comes in. You've been a bad boy. You don't get to eat this week. Aww. Huh. This is kind of fun. But no, I, I don't want to hear it. It's stupid and it's annoying and it's dumb. And I, I don't want to hear it anymore. I, I just want peace and quiet. I don't want to hear that dumb, stupid piano that Jeffy used to play. No, I, I don't care about it. I just, I just want to sit here by myself in the in the quiet. Hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. La, 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 la. Oh, great! Now it's raining. Oh, la, 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 la. Ah! What? What? Jeffy! What? What? Oh, my baby! Jeffy! Jeffy, get back here! Um, maybe, maybe I can watch some TV. No, 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 no. I, I, just, I just want it to be quiet. Just, just nice and quiet. Just sit here. By myself. <laughs> Who's that? <sighs> That's probably Rose. Hello? Daddy, what? can I please live with you? What, Jeffy, where'd you come from? How'd you get here? I jumped out of Mommy's car because she was hitting me and said I couldn't eat for a week. Well, well good. Oh, no, Daddy, please. Daddy, please. I'm sorry. Let me live with you. Oh, no, Jeffy, you remember that time you locked me out of my house? Yeah. Well, check this out. I just locked you out. It's payback. I'm sorry, Daddy. I just really want to live with you. I'm so hungry and I haven't eaten. Oh, well, whose fault is that? I tried to feed you green beans, you threw them behind the couch. I'm oh, sorry, Daddy. I'll eat all the green beans ever. Oh, I don't want to hear it, Jeffy. Just go live with your mommy. Please, just please let me live with you. It's cold out here, and my old mommy hits me and calls me mean names. Please, Daddy, I only want to live with you. Please, please, Daddy. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, I'll let you come inside for 10 minutes until your mom comes back. Really, Daddy? Yeah, but only until your mom comes back, okay? Okay, thanks, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, you're gonna sit right here until your mom comes back to get you. Um, Daddy, what were you doing with my cat piano? Oh, uh, I accidentally stepped on it when it was on the ground, so I put it up here so I wouldn't accidentally step on it again. Were you playing my cat piano, Daddy? No! No, I would never play this stupid, dumb, annoying cat piano. It's childish and annoying, and it's really loud, and I love the peace and quiet, so I, I want it to be quiet. You're not going to play it? No, Daddy, I don't want to annoy you. But, well, good. Well, good. I, I wouldn't want you to play this anyway. It's dumb and annoying and makes a lot of noise, and I like, I like the peace and quiet, so that would be dumb if you played it. 
I mean, I guess if you want to play it, you can play. You're gonna let me play my cap yet? Just, just, just this once, just because it's, it's it's really quiet and my ears are ringing. It's making me have a panic attack. So just 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 play it a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it might be your mom. <laughs> Hello? Is Jeffy here? Uh, well, what's going on? Uh, I was at McDonald's getting Jeffy a Happy Meal, and then he said he had to go to the bathroom, and then he ran away! Is, is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, is Jeffy here? Uh, well, uh... Well, is he here or not? Uh, uh, l let me, let me... Uh, well, uh, let me, let me just look around and see if he's here. Okay, please hurry! Just give me a second. Please find him! Please don't make me go with her, Danny. Please? But, but that's your mom, Jeffy. But she hits me, Daddy. Please? Just let me make a phone call real quick. <sighs> Alright, Jeffy, I made a phone call. You're not going to make me go back with her, are you, Daddy? J Jeffy, just go sit on the couch. We'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, Daddy. <sighs> Hello? Did you find Jeffy? Uh... Yeah, I found him. Oh, thank God! Let me give you a hug. No, 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 no! I don't, I don't, I don't need, a, I don't need a hug. Look, he's just, he's just in the couch in the living room. So, so, so come inside. Oh, thank you. All right, Jeffy's in here. Oh, Jeffy, my baby! Oh, please don't hit me! Please! Oh, mommy would never hit you, sweetie. I love you. Hey, do you think you could give me and Jeffy a minute alone? I need to give him some kisses. No, Daddy, please don't leave me alone with her. Uh, I'll be right back, Jeffy. No. Jeffy, get your ass over here. No! Jeffy, come no. here! No! Jeffy, run! Right you run away from me! No. All right, ma'am, you're under arrest for child abuse. She also spit on me. Ew! Wait, 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 wait! I gotta go see my Jeffy! He's gonna make me millions! Hold on, I'll be right back. But make her millions? What, what is she talking about? Daddy, is old mommy gonna go to jail? I don't know yet, Jeffy. Well, she's being charged with child abuse, spitting on you, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes. Great. So, what happens to Jeffy now? Well, what this means for you is since I know he's not your kid, you don't have to take care of him anymore. I don't? No, no, you could send him to foster care, or, I mean, you could adopt him if you want to. Uh, well, I, I think foster care would be best. I mean, I lived with Jeffy for a year, and it just, it just didn't work out. Really? You don't have any good memories of living with him? Good memories with Jeffy. No. But, wow, wow, that was really fast. Yeah, it's just, I, I think foster care would be best. Daddy, please let me live with you. I promise I'll be the bestest boy ever. I just, I just, what are we doing? Hold on, I just, please, Daddy, please. I know. What, what, what was that? I know, I know. Uh, you, you're gonna have to speak up. I can't hear you. I know, I know. Uh, I'm sorry. Give me that one more time. I guess I'll adopt him. Oh, okay. You'll adopt him. Great. Okay. Well, now that you're his legal guardian, I can show you this piece of paper I found in his mom's purse. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait a minute. I think I have the second half of this! Well, go get it! What are you waiting for? Oh, what? All right, what's it say? If lost, please contact his father! His father is Jacques-Pierre Francois? Who's that? The Jacques-Pierre Francois? Who is that? He's Jacques-Pierre Francois! Who is that? He's Jacques-Pierre Francois! Who is that? He's... <laughs> Jacques-Pierre Francois! Who is that? He's a famous painter, and he died earlier today. He died? Yeah, he left millions of dollars to his unknown son, which I guess is Jeffy. I'm rich AF. So Jeffy's a millionaire? Yeah, well, I mean, he can't get the money until he's 18, but, you know. Wait, wait so, 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 so when Jeffy turns 18, he gets millions of dollars? Yeah. Well, 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 j just, just for the record, I, uh, I adopted Jeffy before I ever knew he was rich, right? Yeah, you were thinking about sending him to a foster home. Oh, no, 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 I never thought about that. When's he turn 18? Well, according to this, he's 12 right now. So, so, so just six years? Yeah. And, and Jeffy gets millions of dollars? Yeah, easy. Oh, okay, I mean, but, but, like, I just want you to know, Jeffy, I adopted you before I knew you were worth millions of dollars. Good. Yeah, yeah, so I want everyone, I want everyone to know that. I'm, I'm a good person, right? Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay. All right, well, thank you so much, officer. All right, thanks. All right, bye. All right, Jeffy, are you ready to spend our first night together as a real family? Yeah, Daddy. Come on, let's go. Marvin, I think it's so sweet that you decided to adopt Jeffy. What? I think it's sweet you decided to adopt Jeffy. Yeah, I think I did the right thing. Marvin, aren't you going to tell him to stop? 
no, not this time. This one's for me. Uh, I hate school. What? Cody, what happened to your glasses? Dude, you look like a freak! Oh yeah, I got LASIK, so I don't need glasses anymore. What's LASIK? Well, it's when they shoot lasers in your eyes to correct your vision. But I don't need glasses now, so now you guys can't call me four eyes. Well, we can still call you a bug-eyed freak. Yeah, googly eyes! Well, yeah, I guess you could call me that, but you guys are just jealous of my 2020 vision. You can only afford 2020 vision? You're so poor! You bought two-year-old vision? <laughs> why, why don't you buy 2022 vision? Yeah, get with the times, dude! But no, it's not the year, it's how good the vision is. 2020 was a bad year, Cody. That's when the pandemic started. You have sick eyes? Yeah, get away from me, dude! Yeah, I don't want to catch your sick <laughs> eyes. Okay, whatever. You guys see how dark it is because Daylight Savings Time ended? Yeah, I hate when it's dark. Whoa, dude, watch your mouth! What's wrong with you? Yeah, Cody, what's wrong with dark? Well, I just meant I hate when it gets dark outside. What, you got a problem with dark people? Is that what it is, huh? But no, I didn't say that. Well, Cody, you got those new eyes, but you're still racist. <laughs> Let's not do this again. I thought you could see better. All right, class. Today we're going to be learning how fast is the speed of light. It's too fast. See that little tiny red dot? It traveled at 186,000 miles per second or 11,160,000 miles per minute, or 669,600,000 miles per hour. The little tiny red dot. Fast as fuck! Whoa, that's so fast! Cody, that's how fast your mom would run to the buffet if she wasn't so fat. Oh, dude, she could still run that fast, regardless of her weight. Yeah, your mom's the fastest land elephant. What land elephant? Is there any other kind of elephant? Well, Dumbo could fly. He was an air elephant. But Dumbo's not real. I'm looking at him right now with those big-ass ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, teacher, may I play with your laser device? No, Jeffy. The laser pointer is a very dangerous device. If you point it at someone's eye, it can make them go blind. So no, you can't play with it. Uh, it's not fair. I want to play with it. All right, Crass. This daylight saving thing is really screwing me up right now. So you guys can go home. Class is over. And I'm going to be putting the laser pointer right here. Okay? Right here. No one touch it. And I'm gonna go home and go to bed because it's dark outside. So I won't be here to see if anyone touches the laser pointer that's right here, okay? See the laser pointer, everyone? Right here? Right here. It's gonna be right here, so don't one touch it. I'm gonna go home, okay? It's right here. Man, we really shouldn't touch that laser pointer. Yeah, let's go home. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that thing. So guys, what do you want to do today since school let out early? Well, it doesn't feel early in the day since it's so d uh... Say it, dude! Say it, I dare you! Uh, nighttime outside. Hmm, nice save. Hey guys, look what I got! Mm. Hey! Oh, hey! Oh. That, uh, the teacher said don't touch his laser pointer! Well, I touched it and I took it! But, 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 but the teacher said not to touch it! Yeah, Cody's right! The teacher's gonna get mad that you touched it! Well, I just wanna play with it for the night! Yeah, I guess we could play with it for a little while. But the teacher said not to touch it! Shut up, Cody! We wanna play with it for a little bit. Well, what are we even gonna do with the laser, Junior? Um, I got an idea. I got it. Ow, Jesus, my eyes! Ow. I told Jeffy to do that. Uh, why would you tell him that? Because you bought laser... Liza, liza, fuck. LASIK eye surgery, and you liked it, so I thought you might want it again. Well, that was a professional laser for fixing vision. Yeah, so I thought we could fix your vision by shining a laser in your eye again. Well, no, that's not how it... Ow, Jesus, my other eye! Oh, okay, God. so look, now you have 20-22 vision. Junior, you're damaging my eyes. I can't even see now. Oh, you can see. How many fingers can I hold up? I, I can't really tell. Ow, Jesus! Uh, did you see me doing that? Uh, I felt it. Uh, hey, Jeffy, shoot me in the eye. Let me see how bad it hurts. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Well, okay, it does hurt. Yeah, it, it sucks. It, it does actually hurt. Wait, what's going on, dude? Ow, dude! Ow! <laughs> Okay, call a doctor! <laughs> Hey there, somebody call an optometrist, and we gotta make this quick, because I gotta go fly a plane in a few minutes, because I'm delivering a whole bunch of donor organs to a hospital, so today I am a doctor slash pilot. So what's going on? Our friend shined a laser in our eyes, and we can't see. Okay, well that's dangerous, but I don't really have time to diagnose you with anything, so I'm just gonna give you all glasses. Glasses? Yeah, I'll go get them from my bag. Alright, there's your glasses. Now I got a plane to fly. Wow, Cody, now we all look like you. Well, it's your fault for shining a laser in your eyes. Beep, 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 beep. Nice Cody impression, dude. Thanks, Joe. I've been working on it. You know, I, I was really trying to capture his voice, but I think I got it. I see. You've been practicing. Uh-huh. I'm really good at it now. Where's Jeffy? Jeffy! 
Hey guys, look what I found with the laser. It's a giga. Me, 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 me. I mean, a kitty cat. Guys, I'm allergic to cats. Achoo, achoo. Well, Cody, don't sneeze on me. You're getting all your germs on me. I already caught your bad eyes. I don't want to catch anything else. Well, guys, can we just get away from this cat? Uh, Jeffy, can we return the laser pointer back at school? Because we already hurt ourselves with it. Okay. You guys want to walk with me? Yeah, let's, let's walk with him to school. Walk it like a tuck it. Okay, guys, let's walk to school and return the laser. God, it's so nighttime out here. Oh, what's wrong with it being nighttime? You can't see me when it's dark? Do I blend into you? No, no, I just think we need a flashlight. I got a light. That little laser's not going to help us see. Guys, look, it's a full moon. <laughs> you want to see a full moon? I'll pull down my pants. Oh, well, there's an airplane. Oh, Jeffy, you should see if you can hit the airplane with the laser. Okay. Are you hitting it? I don't know. Man, what a beautiful night for flying. Just look at that moon. What a big moon. I wonder if it's really made of cheese. Huh. Ow, ow, Jesus, my eye! My eye, I can't see! Mayday, mayday, I'm going down! Oh, uh, guys, is that plane going down? Maybe it's just landing. Yeah, it's just landing. It crashed! It's only crashed! Ah! Ah! Guys, did we make that plane crash? No, Jeffy made that plane crash by shining a laser at the plane. He probably blinded the pilot. Guys, there's no way this laser blinded the pilot. It couldn't even reach that far. Yeah, there's no way this cheap little laser could reach that far, Cody. The plane probably didn't even crash. We heard the explosion. What if that was a car crash on the interstate? That exploded? Yeah, what if a car hit a semi-truck carrying gasoline? Junior, we saw the plane going down. Well, maybe it was a meteor with flashing lights on it. No, Junior, that plane definitely crashed. Well, listen, it didn't crash until we had proof. What, what's wrong, Cody? The news. What? The news! Look! Breaking news, okay? A plane has reportedly crashed after a pilot was blinded by a laser pointer. If you have any details on who could have done it, call 911 immediately. Ah! Guys, we did make the plane crash! Damn it, I spilled my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Dude, I'm out of here! You know they always blame the dark guy! No, Jeffy, get back here! Oh, guys, what are we gonna do? We? We don't have to do anything. Jeffy's the one that shined the laser, and you're the one who told him to do it. I didn't have anything to do with any of this. Jeffy, can I see that? What, what you your fingerprints, your fingerprints, aha! Uh -huh. Junior, why would you do that? Because we're all in this together, from the top. We're, we're all in this no, together! No no, 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 high school musical bullshit, guys. We committed a serious crime. You should be singing, we all committed a felony. Yes, we did. That's what you should be singing. Cody, now is not the time to be singing a song. Wait, what? Well, listen, there's some serious stuff going on right now, okay? We have to get rid of that laser pointer. I can hide it up my stinky rectal hole. <laughs> Yummy! Okay, so look, now that we hit the laser, no one's gonna check up Jeffy's butt. So look, no one's gonna come looking for us, because no one's gonna know where that laser came from. They're not gonna know it came from this house. Yeah, I guess you're right. They won't know where it is. Let's just sit back and eat some of your french fries. Eat! Junior was at the doorbell. No, that was the smoke detector. Uh, that was that was the neighbor's doorbell. Uh, Junior, eventually you're gonna have to answer the door. Okay, look, I'm gonna go answer it. If it's the cops, we're gonna hide. Just keep that thing up your butt. Hello? Hey, did you just hear that explosion? That was me. I was just in a plane crash. Oh, how'd you get in a plane crash? I don't know. I was just flying, and then all of a sudden, a laser came out of nowhere and hit me right in the eye, and I got all confused, and I got up and down messed up, and then, like, I just crashed right into the ground. Luckily, I parachuted out at the last minute, but I still banged my face up pretty bad on some trees. Well, I I'm so sorry about that. It wasn't my fault. Well, of course not. How would it be your fault? Uh, hey, can I come in and use your phone? I gotta call just, just everybody. The FAA, I gotta call call Sully and ask him how we got out of it. I gotta call Tom Hanks and see if he'll make a movie out of this one. I mean, I didn't land on the Hudson, but I mean, that explosion was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you, you can use my phone. Okay. Okay, so where's his phone? Junior, is that the pilot? Yeah, he was the one that was flying the plane that crashed. Junior, he can't be here. I'll tell you what happened. Uh, shut up, Jeffy. Uh, sorry, sir. We just realized that we don't have a phone. What? You don't have a phone? Kid, this isn't funny. I was just in a plane crash. I gotta call some people. Yeah, sorry, but you gotta go. You gotta leave. Wait, wait a minute. Aren't you the kids from earlier that were shining lasers in your eyes? Yes. Junior. Uh, but we don't have the laser anymore. Yeah, because you did my ass. Well, uh, we don't know where it's at. Did, did you kids shine a laser in my eyes while I was trying to fly a plane? No, no, no. The only thing we shined the laser at was our eyes and maybe a helicopter, but not your plane. So, yeah, no, it's, our teacher has a, uh, has a laser pointer on his desk at school, and he pointed at things, maybe airplanes. Huh, I think I need to talk to your teacher. Junior, you're going to get the teacher in trouble. Better him than us. All right, guys, we have to go back to the school and put the laser pointer on the desk.
Okay, Jeffy, take the laser pointer out and put it on the desk. Who wants to go spurlunking in some cheeks? No, I do, I do. I'm a professional. Okay. I don't want to watch this. Mmm, <sighs> butt nectar. Let's just put it on the desk, come on. Okay. Let's go. Okay, guys, we did it. Yeah, I guess we got off scot-free. Who's Scott? What? You just said you got off a guy named Scott for free. No, 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 no. Scott free, it's a saying. What's it mean? Well, I don't know. Who's Scott? Well, there is no Scott, it's just a thing people say. Then why are you saying something if you don't know what it means? Well, I, I don't know, it's just like a common saying. What if I just said random words that didn't make sense, like ants, beehive, bear, tree? Well, that, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, so then there's no point in saying it, so shut up. Okay, fine. So why did you call me here? Well, word on the street is you have a laser pointer. I do, it's right here. <laughs> Rookie mistake, showing me the evidence. You been shining that laser pointer at any planes? No, I've been shining it at the board to teach my students how fast the speed of light is. Well, have you been showing them the speed of light by shining that laser pointer at my plane? No. Huh, likely story. Maybe I should just check this out for myself. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, why does it smell like dookie? I have no idea. Huh. Hmm, let me think about this. Hmm. Aha! I have an idea. I think you shine this laser pointer at my plane, and then when the plane crashed, you got scared and tried to hide it up your butt. But then that got uncomfortable, so you took it out of your butt and you put it on your desk. No. Ha! Liar! Alright, you're coming with me! So, guys, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? Well, I guess I'm just gonna go... Oh my god, the news! Breaking news, okay? An elementary school teacher has been arrested as the person who pointed the laser pointer at a plane, causing it to crash. He will be going to jail for a very long time. Wow, Junior, the teacher's getting in trouble now because of something we did. We have to say something. Something. No, <laughs> just, Junior, this is serious. We just ruined his life. Okay, listen, Cody. If we speak up, we have to go to prison. You want that? Well, I think I could take it better than anyone else. Really? You know, in the butt. Uh, listen, I'm not saying anything. I'm going to sit right here. Okay, well, I don't want to be a part of this, so I'm going home. What? Jeffy, can you believe him? He really wants us to go tell the truth and tell the cop that we were the ones that shined the laser pointer and made his plane crash. Wh wow, I can't believe what I'm hearing. W what's going on? Well, I just came here to give you the triple T, the truth teller trophy, because you told the truth about your teacher having the laser pointer that shot down my plane, but now I don't know if I should give you this trophy. It sounds to me like you're a fibber. Oh, no, no, I'm not a fibber. I'm, I was telling the truth. Like, I, look, I promise I'm not lying. Well, I can't give you the trophy until you tell me the truth. Okay, okay, listen, okay, listen. We did take the teacher's laser pointer and we shot it at your plane on accident. So can I have the trophy? Hmm, there's another very important question and I need answered. So whoever can tell me the truth will get the trophy. Now the question is, if you guys are the ones who stole the laser pointer, why did it smell like shit? Because it was in my ass. Oh my god, ew, 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 ew. Alright, Crass, today we're going to be doing another show and tell. So hopefully you brought something cool to show to Crass. What'd you bring for show and tell, Cody? I brought my violin. I learned how to play Star Wars on it. That's so cool. What'd you bring, Joseph? I brought a wash. What, Joseph, why would you bring a wash? Why wouldn't I bring a wash, Cody? What if it stings you? It's not going to sting me. It's my pet. Duh. It's not your pet. Then why is it in this cup, huh? Well, because you trapped it in there. Guys, look what I brought for show and tell. I brought a never-before-opened Hey Arnold toy. Oh, dude, that's super cool. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. You know how hard it is not to open up a Hey Arnold toy for years, Cody? Not, not that hard. What'd you bring, Penelope? I brought my Princess Piggy Bank. It has $45 in it. Well, I'll give you my Hey Arnold toy for the $45. No, Junior. Oh, I'm so mad at Penelope for not giving me that money. All right, Jeffy. You come up here and show and tell first. Ooga booga booga booga! Don't be scared. It's just me. This is a lion mask that I found. Very scary, Jeffy. You can go back to your seat. All right, Penelope, Pig, it's your turn. I can't wait to show everyone my piggy bank. <laughs> Jeffy, you broke my piggy bank. You're going to have to pay for that. Well, I'm a kid cat. I don't have any money. Ha ha, Penelope, that's what you get for not buying my Hey Arnold toy. Shut up, Junior. All right, you two, settle down. Go back to your seats. All right, Cody, you come up and present next. Hell yeah. You guys ready for your ears to explode from greatness? Okay, everybody, I'm going to be playing the intro song from Star Wars. You know, the one that goes like, da na 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 you know, you know that one? Okay, here we go. Because you didn't buy my hair Arnold toy for $45. Oh, go cry about it, Junior. Go cry about it, bitch. Joseph. What's up, dude? I will give you my hair Arnold toy if you put that wasp down the back of her shirt. Oh, say less. I was eyeing the hair Arnold toy since you showed me, dude. <laughs> All right, dude, I put it down a shirt. Here you go. Yes! 
Hey, Penelope, how you feeling? Fine. Wait, there's there's something crawling on my stomach. It's a wash. <laughs> Oh, thank you for cheering, Penelope. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Penelope, why are you creaming? Probably because she enjoys my beautiful music. Teacher, I just got stung by a wasp and I'm allergic. Now my stomach's all bloated. Well, maybe you're pregnant, Penelope. Shut up, Junior. Maybe Jeffy got you pregnant when he ran into you. <gasps> I got Penelope pregnant? Hey, Daddy. What's wrong, Jeffy? Did your classmates not like your lion mask? No, they did. Then why the long face? Because my mommy drank when she was pregnant with me. No, I meant why are you sad? I'm afraid to tell you. Jeffy, we're your parents. You can tell us anything. Yeah, Jeffy. You promise you won't get mad? Well, I gotta know what it is first. And you promise to take me to Disney World so I can get over it? How bad is it, Jeffy? Oh, it's really bad. Like, so bad. Like, the worst thing ever. My life is over. Did you kill someone? Well, not yet. I mean, she gets to make that decision later on down the line. You know, her body, her choice. What are you talking about, Jeffy? I got a girl pregnant. What? Jeffy! You got a girl pregnant, Jeffy! Why would you do that? Well, hey, it's not my fault. Oh, it is your fault, Jeffy. You're the one who did it. Well, I ran into her and I busted her pink piggy open and then she asked me to pay for it. She asked you to pay for it? Yeah. Oh, my God, baby, Jeffy got caught up in some weird money situation. <laughs> baby, Jeffy, are you sure she's pregnant? Yeah, her belly's already big. Well, Jeffy, why didn't you tell us sooner? Well, I just found out today. Oh, my God, are you sure it's yours? Yeah, I mean, I did bust that pink piggy wide open, Daddy. I get made a mess. It was all over the carpet. Ew, Jeffy! Well, where'd you even do this at, Jeffy? In the classroom. Oh, Jeffy, you're sick. You are sick, Jeffy. Why would you do that? Well, it was an accident. I hope it was an accident. I hope you didn't plan on doing this, Jeffy. Well, yeah, it was the first time I ran into her. Oh, my God, Jeffy, you're supposed to get the nose on before you do that. Oh, my God, baby, what do we do? We need to call a doctor. Well, there's always plan B. Jeffy, it's too late for that. Her belly's already big. Well, plan B as in push her down the stairs. That's not a bad idea. Marvin! No, baby, it looked like Jeffy's too young to have a kid. He can't raise a kid. Marvin! Okay, fine. We'll call a doctor and ask him what stairs he recommends pushing her down. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor, we're not doing so good. Yeah, me neither, man. This economy, am I right? Ugh, I am barely scraping by. I don't even know if I can afford to keep the lights on next month. My panic attacks keep me up at night. No, I'm talking about Jeffy got someone pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Is it a boy or a girl? I got a girl pregnant. But no, I mean, is the baby a boy or a girl? We don't know yet. We'll let it decide when it gets older. But hopefully it identifies as dead soon. But, okay, so what do you need me for? Listen, doctor, he got a girl pregnant and he hasn't told us who she is yet, but we're just scared. What do we do? Well, Sasquatch probably went back into the woods. What? Well, I mean, no offense to Jeffy, but she had to be pretty hideous if she was willing to bang him. I mean, my daughter would never. She's a straight-A student, and she has respect for herself. What would you do if your daughter got pregnant? I'd probably kill her. Strangle her, actually. Yeah, you know, hold her underwater in the bathtub for about three minutes? That ought to do it. Yeah. But I don't have to worry about that, because she is perfect. Actually, I don't even think she likes boys. Between me and you, I think she prefers runch and mug, if you know what I mean. Well, listen, we just don't know what to do. We've never dealt with a situation like this before. Well, I would suggest calling her over here and having her take a pregnancy test to see if she's even pregnant. I don't want to ask a girl to take a pregnancy test. That's weird. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. How about this? How about I hide behind the couch and you call her over, and then when she gets here, I jump out and scare her so she pees a little bit, because I'm pretty scary, and then I'll catch some of that pee with a pregnancy test, and then we'll know if she's pregnant or not. You're not scary. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not really the- ah! Ha! See? I'm scary. You jumped. Yeah, you are pretty scary. I like your plan more than just asking her to take a pregnancy test. Yeah. Well, we already know she's pregnant because her belly is big. Listen, I'm sure she's f***ing huge. That doesn't mean she's pregnant. You know, Olga's can get pretty big. I mean, I bet she looks like Fiona from Shrek, you know, after sundown. But you should call her over here because I don't want to have to go to her swamp. Okay, yeah, Jeffy, you go get the girl. You hide behind the couch. Okay, I'll do that. All right, then, she's right there. So you're the girl who's causing all these problems. Look, I just want my money. <gasps> have some dignity, young lady. I want my $45. $45? That's all she charged you? Hey, I worked hard for that. Yeah, I'm sure you did work hard with all that nasty stuff you did to Jeffy. How often do you do stuff like this? Do what? You know, bust your piggy open. That was my first time, and it was really embarrassing. I couldn't even show off my piggy for show and tell. You were going to show off your piggy for show and tell? Your father must be ashamed. I'm so glad we're trying to get rid of it. Get rid of what? You know, will, will you get rid of it? Get rid of what? I just want my money. If we give you the $45, will you do what we want? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, I'll give her the $45. Well, I got 50. I got 100 in my wallet. Okay, yeah, deal. All right, Brooklyn guy, you can come on out. She just wants money. <laughs> wow, Marvin. I heard the whole thing. She sounds like a real gold digger. Oh, hey, Penelope. What are you doing here? Wait, Marvin, where'd the girl go? I want to show my daughter what a real slut looks like. Uh, she is the girl. <laughs> 
Penelope, you hussy! What? You're the girl who busted a piggy open? Yeah, I accidentally ran into Jeffy and he busted it open. Oh, this is a parent's worst nightmare. I thought I raised you better than that. And why are you charging money for it? Because he busted my piggy open! Oh, sweet Jesus. I shattered her piggy. You mother or I'll kill you! Hey, 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 stop fighting, stop fighting! We can't change what happened. It already happened. Yeah, I guess you're right. It was an accident, right, Jeffy? Yeah. And I've had plenty of accidents, too. I mean, that's how Penelope was born. What? Listen, she said she'll get rid of it for $45. Get rid of what? Oh, you're getting rid of it, young lady. There's no way you're ready for that. What are you talking about? Oh, don't even try to hide it. Your stomach is huge. Oh, that? Yeah, I want to get rid of that. Oh, thank God. I was going to come to you for help as a doctor. Oh, good, because there's like, there's some stairs over there, so I could just give you a knuckle sandwich right in the stomach. Um, isn't that going to make it worse? I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt. It's not going to be fun. But then again, you already had your fun, didn't you? I didn't have fun with this. It was a really mean prank all the boys at school played on me. Everyone was in on it, and it hurt and stung. Oh, Bean Needle did. I'll kill you. Oh, okay, God, that is, that, 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 no fighting. Listen, she said she's willing to do a solution, so you just got to find out which one she wants to do. Okay, yeah. Penelope, how do you want to get rid of it? I don't know. Like, a shot? Ooh, a shot, a shot. Yeah, that's that's the best way of doing it. Um, I keep my shots over here by the stairs. Okay. All right, Dad, where's the shot? Here's a shot. Right in the gut. <laughs> Okay, I think that might have done it. How's your stomach feel? It hurts, but it hurt before, too! Hmm, I think we need to go to the top of the stairs and do it a few more times. How is that gonna help my wasp sting? I'm sorry, you what? I got stung by a wasp on the stomach! Wait, 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 so you're telling me you didn't get pregnant? What? Ew, no, Dad! But, but what about your piggy getting busted open? I brought my piggy bank for show and tell and Jeffy knocked into me and it shattered on the floor! Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, I am so happy. What the hell did you think happened? D -d nothing, nothing. Just keep your pure, innocent mind pure and innocent. Look, look, you just go home, and I will go upstairs and explain to those nice people what happened. Okay. Whew. Good news, everyone. Is it dead? Well, technically. Shibby! Well, not even shibby, because it turns out she wasn't pregnant to begin with. Oh, thank God. Woohoo! Pull out game strong as fuck. Well, no, not even that, because it turns out she and Jeffy didn't even do anything. But what about all the busting the piggy stuff? Oh, well, she brought her piggy bank to school for show and tell, and Jeffy just accidentally broke it. Then why was her stomach so big? Oh, uh, she gets stung on the stomach by a wasp, and she's really allergic to wasps. That's why it swelled up so much. Well, Jeffy, why did you think you got her pregnant? Because I ran into her, and then everyone said she was pregnant. But that's not where babies come from. Yeah, this whole thing, let's just be happy that it was a big misunderstanding. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Just a big misunderstanding. Big misunderstanding. Yep. Yep. Big misunderstanding. That's a big yep. misunderstanding. Good. Yep. Happy ending. Yes, a yes, big yes, misunderstanding. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm gonna go. Can we go to Disney World? Yay! You're gonna take me to Disney World! Oh, yeah, I love playing Fortnite. Trying to unlock the new Spider-Man skin. Jeffy, did you just charge my credit card? Sure did, Daddy. What? I had to get the new Fortnite Battle Pass. You didn't ask for permission. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. You're going to do a bunch of chores tomorrow to make that money back. All right, sure thing, Daddy. Hey! I was playing that! Jeffy, you have to go to bed. It's your bedtime. You have school tomorrow. But I just need 64 more matches before I get the Spider-Man skin. How long is that going to take? All night. You're not playing video games all night, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. Well, then let me finish this one match. Okay. And then 63 more. Oh, finally. I got the Spider-Man skin. Now I get to play a Spider-Man. Victory emote dance. <sighs> Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Uh, what? You have to go to school, Jeffy. Oh, no, Daddy. I'm too tired to go to school. Did you stay up all night playing video games? No. But Jeffy, I told you to go to bed last night. It's your fault that you stayed up, so you're going to school. Oh, but Daddy, I'm too tired. Oh, if you're tired now, you're definitely going to be tired after school because I have a lot of chores for you to do after school. So go to school. Oh. oh. Go. All right, class. Today, we're going to be learning about the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. So we're going to play this fun little game where I pretend each of your faces are Earth and this ball is the meteor. I'm going to throw it as fast as I can at you, and if you dodge the ball, then you save the dinosaurs. All right, Cody, you're first. Oh, man. Yeah! Got his ass! Looks like the dinosaurs are dead in your world, Cody. Junior, you're next. Oh. Yeah! Good dodge, Junior. It looks like the dinosaurs are still alive in your world, and Cody's world, the dinosaurs are double dead. All right, Jeffy, you're next. Oh. Oh, Cody, I'm so sorry. My aim was a little off. 
It, it, it's fine. I'm just going to spend the rest of the class down here. I understand, Cody. All right, Jeffy, it's your turn. Did, did Jeffy dodge it? What? Ah! Boom! Okay, that's it. I'm going home. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Cody. Ugh, I hate this class. Ow! Eat shit, Cody! I'm on fire today, class. I can put the ball anywhere I want. All right, Jeffy, your turn. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy, you suck. Oh, Jeffy, looks like the dinosaurs are dead in your world. Bully, think fast. Oh. <laughs> I caught it. Hey, Jeffy, think fast. <laughs> Oh, hey, are you effing with me? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Cause I might be tired, but I can still kick your ass! <laughs> hey, Jeffy! Boy, stop fighting! Hold on real quick, I gotta do something. Uh, hey, Cody! Uh, I wanna transfer to another school. Ow! Suck that, Cody, you nerd! Uh, uh, Jeffy, how was school today? Huh? How was school today? Uh, good. I'm tired. But no, you can't go to sleep yet, mister. You still have chores to do. Hold on. Take this and that and go wash all the windows in the house. Uh, uh, I'm tired. Go wash all the windows. Ah, oh my God, Jesus Christ! What oh my God! Wrong? Oh my God, Jesus Christ! What got happened? He got it in my eyes. Oh my God, Marvin! Uh, I can't see! I can't see! We need to go to the hospital! Yeah, take, take me, take me, take me! Jeffy, how could you do that? Oh, oh. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? Oh my god, he got it in my eyes! Oh, baby, baby, oh, Jeffy, you're grounded. You are so grounded. Morgan, oh, I can't see! Oh, 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 Jeffy, call 911. Call 911. Huh? Oh, call 911. We oh. need to go to the hospital! Oh, okay, 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 Jeffy, I would never ask you to do this, but I need you to drive us to the hospital, okay? Huh? Oh, drive us to the hospital. Come on, baby. Oh, drive us to the hospital. Jeffy, come on! We gotta go to the hospital! Oh, okay. All right, Jeffy, hurry up and drive us to the hospital. But drive safely. Huh? Just, just drive us to the hospital, Jeffy. We have to go to the hospital. Okay. What are you, what are you doing, Jeffy? Hurry, hurry, just hurry up. Uh. Je Jeffy, Je Jeffy, get, get off the horn, Jeffy. Huh? Well, you're on the horn, Jeffy. Like, just drive us to the hospital. What? Are those sirens? Green, blue line. What, what, Jeffy, why are you getting pulled over? Look, 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 look. Just talk to the cop and just tell him that you're taking us to the hospital, okay? Okay. Yeah, I bet this guy's drunk. Hey, roll your window down. Roll your window down. Oh, Jeffy, Jeffy, roll your window down for the cop. Huh? But, roll your window down. But, roll your window down, Jeffy. Hey. Tell him you're taking us to the hospital. Okay. What do you want? Jesus, car full of junkies. Oh, uh, no, officer, we're not, we're not a car full of junkies. Look, uh, he, he sprayed cleaning chemicals in my eyes. Oh, you're getting high on cleaning chemicals, huh? Oh, no, 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 he sprayed in our eyes, and he was taken to the hospital. Look, man, I don't care how you do it, it's still illegal. I can't believe this, doing it in front of your kid like that, then making him drive you to the hospital. No, 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 I promise you, officer, it's just a big misunderstanding. Well, you're all under arrest. You're coming with me, come uh, on. Uh, no! Ugh, I can't believe we had to bail ourselves out of jail. At least our eyes are feeling better, Marvin. I just want to watch TV and forget about what happened today. Breaking news, okay? A local couple, picture to the left of the screen, was arrested for making their kid drive them around while they were zooted on cleaning supplies. Oh my god! Oh great, now the whole town thinks we're junkies and that we treat our son bad. And only one of those things is true! I'm tired. Oh, you're not going to bed yet, mister. You ruined our entire day and got us arrested. So now, you know what? You're going to make us dinner. What? Yeah, he's going to make us dinner. We deserve to relax after all the hell we were put through today. So, Jeffy, go make us some chicken nuggets. But, Marvin, he just needs some rest. No, no, no. He can rest after he gets done with his chores, and I want him to make us dinner. So go make us some chicken nuggets. What? Go make us chicken nuggets. Okay. Go. <sighs> Is there a fire? 
Uh. Wait, it's you again! Oh man, this house! Get out of my way! Ah! Someone help us! Jesus, look at that fire! Oh yeah, can you help us, please? Oh my God, not you two again! What are you junkies doing now? Trying to cook cleaning chemicals? What? No, no, no! Just a big misunderstanding. What? You trying to get high on the fumes? Oh no! All right, I'm gonna put out this fire, and then you're going back to jail. Oh come on! I cannot believe we went to jail twice in one day. At least the house isn't on fire, Marvin. Can you stop trying to find positive stuff about this? Today's not positive. It's a horrible day. Oh my god, Marvin, look the news! Oh my god. Breaking news, MK! Those junky parents are back at it again. This time, they were arrested for trying to make their kid cook cleaning supplies. When will they stop? Wow. Now we can never show our face around town ever again again. Marvin, just let Jeffy get some sleep. No, I'm not going to let Jeffy get some sleep. He got us arrested twice. The whole town thinks we're junkies and we can start fires and stuff like that. So I got to think of the biggest, baddest punishment ever for Jeffy. Marvin, just let him sleep. No! Wait. Jeffy, are you sleeping? No, wake up. Marvin! I got to wake him up. Marvin, stop it! Wake up, Jeffy. Child Protective Services, I'm here to check on... Oh, oh, no, 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 I was just trying to wake him up. No, I think I know what's going on here. Yeah, I took away your cleaning supplies, so now you're taking out your withdrawal anger on your kid. Is what? that it? No, I was just trying to wake him up. He's sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping because he's been up all night driving you around and cooking your cleaning supplies. Oh, no, 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 I was trying to wake him up so I could punish him. But not punish him by hitting him, but, but like by doing other stuff. All right, that's it. You're coming with me. Go! Oh!